Hey, this is Elijah from Breakdance. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Breakdance Form Builder's webhook action. A webhook is essentially a special URL that allows you to post data to it to interact with another web application. And with the webhook action in the form builder, we can post data to those special URLs, allowing us to integrate with other platforms, even if Breakdance doesn't have a specific native integration with those platforms. As long as they provide the webhook option, you can send form data to them. To get started, you'll need a webhook URL from the app or platform you'd like to integrate with. To illustrate this in this video, I'll be using Zapier, which is an automation platform. You'll need to log into your Zapier account and create a new Zap. Once you're there, click the trigger node and you'll want to select webhooks by Zapier. If it doesn't appear in the list, you can search for it near the top of this dialog. So let's click webhooks by Zapier and insert that. Under events, we will choose catch hook. This means the webhook will be listening for Breakdance to post to it. Let's click continue. We're gonna skip the trigger area for now and go straight to test. This is where you'll get your webhook URL. So let's copy that. Now let's go back to Breakdance and let's add the webhook action to our form builder. Select the form builder element in the builder preview, and on the left side of the screen in the properties panel, expand the actions section, and in the actions after submission control, choose webhook. Once that's added, you'll see webhook in the actions list. Click the edit icon to the right of webhook, and here you can paste your webhook URL. Next, you'll need to map your fields. In this case, I have only three, so we'll do name. And for the field value, we can pass in the value of the field from our form builder. So I'll choose the name field using the plus icon on the right side of the field value field. Now let's map our message as well. So we'll call this message. And we'll use the plus icon in the field value field to choose message. And finally, let's pass the email address. So we'll call this one email. And we'll map it to the email field. Now, if we save this and go up to the front end and refresh, we can now submit a message to use this webhook. So we'll call this Elijah email elijah at example.com and for the message we'll put this is a webhook test now we'll submit the form over on zapier we can now click test trigger and you can see that the message we just submitted via our breakdance builder form appears in the data available in our zap in this demonstration, I've shown you how to use webhooks to communicate with Zapier, which then allows you to integrate with hundreds of other platforms via Zapier's actions. But if the platform or app you're looking to integrate with has a webhook feature itself, you can skip Zapier and submit straight to the webhook provided by the app or platform you want to integrate with. Note that you will have to follow their specifications on the data that gets submitted.